Welcome back to Basic Medical Sciences. If this is your first time, please click the subscribe button. Please, 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 I'm begging you in the name of God. So in this video, we are going to talk about one of the biggest bacteria in microbiology, right? This is very important. I'm not playing games here, right? And I'm talking about the Staphylococcus aureus right or simply staph aureus right so aureus 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 means gold right so let me just highlight the code and around the aureus this bacteria actually produce colonies which are yellowish gold in color they look like this right it's nice right so they are like golden grapes yeah all right, so staph aureus is gram-positive cocci and is catalyst-positive. All right, so now I want to give a scenario which will help you to remember uh, catalyst-positive uh, bacteria, right? Because we're talking about staphylococci and uh, all of the staphylococcus species, staph aureus, staph epidemides, and staph sacrificus are catalyst-positive, right? So, uh, let's say there is a medical staff, all right? Medical staff, they are posing for a photo, right? So, here you can see them. But something happened. Uh, a cat just got into the picture, and the cameraman did not tell them that there is a cat on your side, all right? So, just to you know, if we're talking about the staff Oreos, it means there is a cat inside the picture. Right, so the way to differentiate staph aureus from other staphylococcus species is that staph aureus is actually coagulase positive. Right, so uh, this bacteria is also a beta hemolytic. So here on this place, you can actually see complete hemolysis, right? And here uh, you can see these golden yellowish colonies, right? Here you can see them like... Uh, what happened? Come back. Right here. Yes. Yeah. Yes, you can see the golden colonies. And around the colonies, you can see a clear zone. Simple. Right. Okay. Uh, then the other thing, the other way to differentiate um, staph aureus from other species, for example, uh, staph epidemides. Right. We will talk about manito salt agar. Right. So in manito the uh, staph aureus can ferment manito, right? So it produces a yellow colored colonies as it ferment manitos and the fermentation causes a uh, change in color of indicator. So the indicator used is phenol red, right? So it will change uh, from red to yellow. So this is what happens. But in other uh, staphylococcus species, for example, in staph epidemides, this one is a non- Manito fermenter, so is uh the the colonies will be colorless, uh with pink media, right? So this is the original color of a uh, phenol red, right? So there is no change in the color of the indicator. All right, uh so uh, staph aureus is a biggest virulence factor, right? This virulence factor is called protein A. Right, so protein A is actually a component of the cell wall. It binds to the FC region of the antibodies, thereby preventing complement activation and opsonization, not forgetting phagocytosis. Right, so if it prevents all these processes, it means uh, it will enable colonization. Right, right, so. This staph aureus normally colonizes the nose. Oh, you have the nose here. That's cool. Right. Now let's look at the diseases caused by staph aureus. Right. So the diseases caused by uh, staph aureus can be grouped into two. Right. One, the inflammatory diseases. Two, the diseases which are caused by uh, the toxins or simply toxin-mediated diseases. Right. Okay, so let's start with um, inflammatory diseases. Okay, so the first one is pneumonia, right? And on x-ray, it appears as a patch infiltrate, right? 
Uh, and this pneumonia is usually post-viral bacterial infection. Uh, the second condition is abscesses, right? And the third one is rapid onset or acute bacterial endocarditis, right? This happens, like, especially in IV drug users, right? Because they exchange those needles, right? Uh, and this usually affect the tricuspid valve, right? So here is your tricuspid. Why tricuspid? Because in population, it is the valve which usually get damaged, right? So if it is damaged, then there are high risk of uh, its infection by the staph aureus. Right. Uh, then the other conditions, uh, you need to remember this. Staph aureus is the most common cause of septic arthritis. And it is the most common cause of osteomyelitis, right? Right, so that's all about the inflammatory diseases. Next on, we have the diseases which are mediated by the toxin. We can simply say toxin-mediated diseases. The first one is called the scalded skin syndrome, right? This one is actually caused by exfoliative toxin, right? The second disease is called toxic shock syndrome. This one is caused by toxic shock syndrome, toxin 1. This toxin is super antigenic, right? So it means it can activate large number of T cells, resulting in massive release of uh, cytokines and consequently shock. The other disease is a rapid onset food poisoning, right? So this one is caused by ingestion of preformed toxins, right? So these preformed toxins are actually, it's actually a heat stable enterotoxin, right? So this happens usually after eating these foods like beggars, mayonnaise, and meats, right? Uh, this will lead to uh, conditions like nausea, vomiting, abdominal discomfort, and diarrhea the incubation period is actually one to four hours and the symptoms will resolve in 24 to 48 hours right so here i have the images right so this first one is showing uh scalded skin syndrome right said i have another one And another one again, right? So, let's conclude by uh, talking about uh, treatment, right? So if the bacteria is sensitive to methicillin or if it is methicillin sensitive, it means we can use uh, anti-staphylococcal penicillins like nafcillin, oxacillin, and flucloxacin, right? Uh, if there is allergy to penicillin, then we can use uh, clindamycin. But if the bacteria is resistant to methicillin, it's called a what? MESA, methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus, right? So this one, we will use uh, big guns, right? This one is, is actually a last resort, right? And we will use what? We will use vancomycin and a pretty expensive drug called linezolate. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please make sure just click that like button, right? Subscribe, click the notification bell so that you get a notification whenever I upload a new video, right? And also, uh, if you get the opportunity, just to share with your friends, right? Uh, until next time, head bowed.